This video was sponsored by HubSpot. Today, uh, I just wanted to share some kind of fun architecture I have been playing around with the last few days. So I just call it the mixture of predictive agents or MOPA for short. So this is kind of a two script system. So let me just walk through how this works. Then we're going to take a look at the code. So we're going to dive a bit into the code today. Then we're going to run it a few times and see can we predict the upcoming Bitcoin price. So we actually have a way to backtest this. And uh, you will see that when we go through the code. So let me just explain this now. So you can see the first system we have is to actually get some Bitcoin price data. So there's a free API called CoinGecko. So we're just going to call that and retrieve the 30 last days of Bitcoin prices. Uh, so instead of actually have to call that API every single time we make this request, we're just going to run out the rate limit. So instead, we're just going to cache the Bitcoin prices into a JSON file that we can load in kind of our MOPA art architecture. So that is kind of the idea. So we have kind of this uh, joint prompt here for every single model. So we're going to load in the Bitcoin prices from our cache, right? And we're going to create a custom prompt that uh, we will send to every single model. And here's kind of where the nice architecture comes into play because we can pick models from Ulama, so like Llama 3, Mistral 7B. Uh, we can do OpenAI models, so we're gonna do GPT-40, GPT-40 Turbo, we're gonna do 3.5, and we're gonna try some different OpenAI models. We can put in Claude, so we're gonna do Claude 3.5 Sonnet, Opus, and maybe like Haiku. And we're gonna do from Grok, we're gonna use Llama 70B, mixture of uh, maybe the Mistral mixture model, we will see. So this is kind of the nice thing, we can actually switch out models super easy with this list system I have created that you will see in the code. And this means that we send a prompt to each model in kind of this big for loop and we get the results back from every single model, uh, the price they predict. So we have some custom prompts that kind of extracts just the price, right? And then we're going to do this aggregated prediction. So we're going to take the average of every single model and try to find the price uh, in the next 24 hours for the Bitcoin. So I think we're just going to move on to the code where I can explain a bit kind of how this works. And it's very easy to set up and it's very nice to test models this way. So yeah, let's just head over to the code and take a look. But first, let me just tell you a bit about today's sponsor, HubSpot. Do you ever feel like there's not enough time in the day to do your task? Don't worry, because the ebook Supercharge Your Workday from HubSpot can change that. This resource focuses on enhancing your productivity using AI, providing practical advice, techniques specifically designed for today's professionals. What I find remarkable about this guide is its emphasis on utilizing AI not just to improve, but to completely revolutionize your daily work tasks. Rather than discussing general AI concepts, HubSpot offers targeted, executable solutions aimed at optimizing your task and simplifying your decision-making processes. One particularly interesting section demonstrates how to effortlessly incorporate ChatGPT into your daily workflow. From managing your task list and prioritizing assignments to optimize your time management, the ebook guides you through leveraging AI to make every moment of your workday more effective. So are you curious to learn more? Simply click the link in the description below to get your free copy of the ebook today and discover how AI can elevate your workday. A special thanks to HubSpot for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to the main content. So let's just start with the script that actually goes out and fetch the Bitcoin prices we need. So we just call this function fetch BTC prices and we're gonna store it in this JSON file here, right? And we have set up something that we have some, uh, if the cache is older than 24 hours, we're going to fetch new data. So we're going to check for that when we run the script. Uh, now I don't have anything, so we're just going to run it. So we set this to uh, 30 days, including the end date, because we don't want to include uh, this day today, because we need some way to backtest the system, right? I'm going to go a bit more into that. But basically, we just want to grab the last 30 days minus one. And yeah, that is basically the idea. We want the timestamp and we want the prices. So let's just run this and then you can kind of see how this works. So let's just go uh, Python fetch BTC. Okay, so we grab the last 30 days of prices. You can see here. Perfect. So you don't see, we don't have today's date. We only have yesterday. That is because we want to use that to backtest, right? 
So now that we have this, we are basically ready to go here now. So you can see here is kind of our JSON file with uh, all the prices, right? So we can load that when we go to our MOPA architecture here. Okay, so you can see we kind of set this up to use four different clients here. We have the Grok, we have Anthropic, we have OpenAI, and we have the local models, right? That is going to be Ulama. And we have a .env file that's going to load all, all of our API keys. And here you can see we can actually fetch the Bitcoin prices. So we're just going to load our file, right? That is going to work pretty straightforward. Uh, we have a function to uh, use some regex to extract the prices from kind of the response from the models. Because I only want to return uh, the prices. I don't really care about anything else here, right? And here is kind of our OpenAI chat function. So you can see we don't set any model here because we want to use this list uh, system I created to run through different models in a for loop. As you will see further down, same with Grok. We're going to do this model uh, argument and we have the same with Anthropic. So every single of these have just a model uh, argument here that we're going to replace later, right? And same with Ulama, of course. So get current Bitcoin price. This is because we want to, this is part of the backtest I wanted to say, because we want to grab today's Bitcoin price. And if we already have the historical Bitcoin prices and uh, the models tried to predict today's price, like in the past, so we can actually check if they predicted this correctly by just stepping 24 hours back in time, right? So that was kind of the idea. So we have somewhere to backtest this. Uh, yeah, it's basically just for fun. The video is about the architecture, not about the result, right? So let's just go through the system prompt we created for this. A bit of a mess here. We could have put this into a text file, but it's fine. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to read every single thing here, but uh, you're an expert cryptocurrency analysis specializing in Bitcoin price prediction. And you have 30 days of historical Bitcoin price as a trend indicator. And I just feed in a lot of stuff here, uh, right? So don't do not include explanations, dollar signs, additional text in your response because we only want to extract the price, right? So here we kind of come to what I really like about this system, and this is kind of my list of models and the for loop setup, right? So we kind of have this variable called Ulama models, OpenAI models, Anthropic models, and Grok models. We just create a list of all the model names, right? So basically, you can put in here as many models as you want, right? And test. Uh, so we're only going to do this for now. So we have Llama 3, DeepSeek Coder, V2, GPT-4.0, 3.5 Turbo, GPT-4, Claw 3.5 Sonnet, Opus. And from Grok, we have Llama 70B and Mixtral 8x7B, right? And then we can aggregate all of these models into some a variable called all models so we just put this into like a big list and we're gonna store our predictions into this empty list here and yeah this is fine so this is kind of our prompt uh, so use extensive Bitcoin crypto knowledge to predict the Bitcoin price in 24 hours this is for the backtesting part right and here is where we kind of dump our uh, fetched uh, prices so here is the 30 days of historical Bitcoin price data so we're just going to dump the JSON file, right, with the Bitcoin prices and the timestamps uh, just into our prompt here. And do not include any explanations, blah, blah, blah. Provide only the predicted price as a number with two decimal places. And yeah, we feed this prompt, right, in a loop to every single model. And here we kind of go into our for loop, right? So we're going to run through every single model. We're going to ask the prompt. We're going to take in the system message and we're going to use uh, all the models we want, right? And then we kind of want to extract the prices from all the responses, right? Remember the extract price. We're just going to use some regex to try to fetch out the just the price. And if prediction is not none, we're going to append this to our empty list uh, up here. That was called predictions, right? So we can store all of their predictions in our loop. And then we're going to run through here. So you can see here is where we kind of calculate the average prediction of all predictions and I have something called corrected prediction so this is gonna be 4% lower than the average prediction just running this a few times I noted that it's always a bit too optimistic so I just want to see where we land if we 
take off 4% of the predictions, right? Just some fun. We're going to do a delta of that. So we're going to do the delta of the average prediction and the current price just to see how far off we were. And then we're going to aggregate our results just to show them in a nice setting here using the rich library. And that is basically the full code. Uh, so the, the main part of this, like the, the clever thing, I think, is running all of these models into these for loops. This means that we can run through a whole lot of different models in a very efficient way. Uh, so I think that's pretty cool, right, with this system. And the idea behind this is that we are not going to uh, kind of predict the correct Bitcoin price. We can't do that, right? But the idea is that we can make this architecture that makes it very easy to do some aggregation over a lot of answers from different models, right? So now I think we're just going to run it and see what Bitcoin price will this system predict. So let's just head over to the terminal. We did already load in our Bitcoin price to our cache, right? So we can clear that. So let's just go uh, python mopa.py and let's just run this. So you can now see kind of we will go through, we will fetch first the current Bitcoin price, 61,000. Then we will go through Llama 3. So this is going to be our first prediction. So you can see this predicted 62,000. Deepseek Coder V2. And you can see 61,000, 59,000. And you can see we're just going to go through every single model here, right? And then we kind of get the aggregated results. So if we zoom in here, you can see what each model predicted. So Llama 3 predicted 62,000, 61, GPT 3.5 Turbo, 63,000. And the other models here kind of predicted uh, 59 around that. So yeah, that is kind of the list. And then we get kind of this aggregated result here, right? So the average predicted was 60,378. And if we corrected it 4% lower, we were kind of way off now. Because the current price was 61,000. That's the answer, right? And we have the deltas. So the original prediction was 1.8% off. Uh, so we got a 98.2% accuracy. And yeah, I don't know what that means. I can't really tell. You can see now the corrected um, with the 4% off was 5% off. That was a big miss, right? And that is basically how I set this up. I kind of like this nice uh, UI here in the terminal using Rich. But you can also create like, a, let's say, a React and a Node app here if you wanted to do it that way. I might do that in the future. Uh, but yeah, that is basically it. Uh, there's no point running this many times. So let's say if I waited f a couple of days now, I can just delete um, the cached uh, Bitcoin price. I can load in the new ones and I can run this again. But like I said, the idea here was just to have a nice architecture that we can run the same prompt over a bunch of different models, right? We could have added like 10 more models. And you can also say like the more models we add, the more we kind of go into this wisdom of the crowd uh, theory. Uh, so let's say we picked like 50 models. Could we get a bit of results? Who knows? We might try it out in the future. But for now, I'm just going to stick with these models. And we got a very good hit here, 98%. So I think that was pretty cool. And yeah, kind of happy with how this architecture turned out, if you ask me. So if you want access to this code, just follow the link in the description below, become a member of the channel, you can get an invite to the community Discord, and you will get an invite to the community GitHub, where I will upload all of my scripts. And yeah, also don't forget to check out uh, today's sponsor, HubSpot. So yeah, thank you for tuning in, hope you enjoyed this, hope you think this uh, architecture was pretty cool. And uh, like I said, check it out if you want to try it out. And yeah. Hopefully, I will see you again soon. There's going to be a live stream coming up soon, so look out for that. Anyway, thank you for tuning in. Have a great day, and yeah, speak soon.